got involved in the act. But then it was a hairy assignment. At the Royal Aircraft Establishment's hangars in Cardington, Bedfordshire, an historic occasion. Under construction is the first airship to be seen there for more than 20 years. As the non-inflammable helium gas is pumped in, she slowly begins to take shape. The craft has been named Europa. 192 feet long, she'll be used on goodwill flights, also possibly as a flying camera platform to cover major news and sporting events. Pilot of the new craft is Captain Dick Widdicombe. This same hangar housed Britain's R-100, a giant compared to the Europa. This film from Movie Tone's archives was shot in December 1929. All tied up, but raring to go, Europa is dotted with thousands of light bulbs which can be used to display advertising slogans. She's equipped with two engines, each of 210 horsepower. And now she's almost ready to go. And very slowly at first, away she goes on her maiden flight. The cost of the craft is about one and a quarter million pounds. In the last 45 years, this company has built 300 airships. Of these, 55 were civilian types, and a million people have flown in them without so much as a nasty bump. Some of you watching this may recall the historic flights of the two British airships, the R-100 and the R-101. Now, after an interval of over 20 years, an airship hovers over England. Over the birthplace of the now forgotten British airships of the 20s. No brakes, of course, you just hang on and hope. The maiden flight over, Captain Whittacombe seems more than satisfied. 